there. Good morning, everybody. And welcome to the Naked Salon, where we strip away the hype and get down to the bare truth. And uh, this is a conversation, and you are welcome to join in. And I will give you our call-in number, which is 818-991-6137. And today's show is called Naked Gratitude. And the question that we're gonna to answer today is, what are you grateful for? And that's what we'd like our callers to call in about as well. And we're gonna explore this whole topic of gratitude today. And um, my name is Audrey Philpot, And uh, I am the host of this show. And I am also a marketing mentor and coach, but I'll speak about that another time, but just a little self plug. And um, I want to introduce my co-host, Mark Appleman. Take it right. away, Mark. Well, thank you, and uh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Thanksgiving is, as we'll see by the end of the show, a 365-day-a-year holiday. Uh, our call-in number is 818-991-6137, and please feel free to direct uh, a question to any of our guests as well. I'm going to just uh, briefly touch, uh, we really have all the colors of the Rainbow Coalition here today. Uh, we, we really touch on almost every continent and universe uh, here, and uh, I have the pleasure of knowing uh, Tony. First of all, I think I'll start with Tony, because Tony has uh, been hosting myself and, and many people at his home in uh, Westlake Village here, California. Uh, and uh, Tony's background uh, was in the sciences, engineering, technology, and that sort of thing. And then he uh, took another turn in the, in the 90s and went to Santa Monica, got a master's degree in applied spiritual psychology. psychology yes. And uh, he will hopefully be emphasizing a little bit of the scientific side of gratitude. Uh, uh, we have the singular named Lou here, over here. And Lou is uh, one of our uh, associate uh, producers of our show and also has his own show, Sweet Lou and Friends. Uh, twice a week here at GotWeb TV headquarters in Westlake Village. And uh, to my left, uh, we have uh, Melody Kleiman, who has been our sponsor uh, uh, for the show. <laughs> just, <laughs> just got the <laughs> bottle there on, on camera. Um, has been a, one of the sponsors for our program, and she's going to be talking about her love, love and gratitude water and a little bit about her personal journey and how she found herself uh, involved with gratitude as a business. Uh, uh, her background was uh, in law, correct? Exactly. And, and then uh, illness uh, and her tale will, I'm sure, be told during the coming hour. And last but certainly not least, we have the Reverend Dr. Aaliyah Mahone. That's correct. Okay. <laughs> that was four Good names. Work, that was a lot, yes. believe me. And. Uh, uh, this is a, a, a ordained minister? I'm an ordained minister, non-denominational, yes. And you are a uh, success coaching spiritual consultancy. Uh, her uh, organization is the AIS? It's called the International Association for Spiritual Coaching, okay. and the acronym is IASC. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. She coached me on that as well. <laughs> and uh, she will, uh, she'll be talking about her journey, and I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to sit on that, but she's had a pretty extensive background in mm -hmm. the spiritual coaching experience and uh, has worked with uh, quite a few major U.S. companies and perhaps international companies as well. Mm -hmm. So these are our, our four guests. And um, just personally, as we move out into the general larger topic of gratitude itself, um, this is uh, really, this is our third show, and I'm grateful for that. And, and the, mm world of manifestation three three makes it all real and brings it all in so this is thank you for being coming to us today and being a part of this um our first show was about oneness and about feeling connected to the unity behind all life and our second show last week's show was about philanthropy and it was a recognition of the other the person outside of us and how we are interconnected Gratitude to me, just personally looking at it, seems like we're opening back up into a larger field of life itself. The third stage of this unity principle as it moves out 
into all life, and we're finding our relationship with this unified field of life. And in a certain way, as I've read, and I had to do my homework, uh, my daughter Layla got me this book by Robert uh, Emmons, uh, who's a, a professor out here in California, called Thanks, where he talks about the emerging science of gratitude where people are just starting to see that this is something that can be potentially studied and looked at like any other science. So I've, as usual, I've assembled a few questions that are here just to, to move the conversation along, but I, I may very well never get to my second question with this group. Um, <laughs> gratitude is an attitude and an altitude that is nearly universally embraced. Today we'll look at science and the emerging new energy sciences because I feel that the water and uh, success, these are all sciences mm -hmm. that have to do with just applying our behavior in a certain way to bring in change that many can, would consider quite magical in our lives. Mm -hmm. So uh, we can call it a gratitudinal adjustment uh, of some sort. Um, so let me start a little bit this way. Is gratitude just taking the concept of accepting what life offers you and putting a positive spin on it, or is it something more? Mm -hmm.